Hello friends, this video on surface chemistry part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Again, I'll give you some examples of adsorption in our day-to-day -day life. The first example is same. In the morning, you are all dressed up. Your skin is totally clean. You go out for play and you play cricket, basketball, whatever you want. Or you go to school or you go to the market. By the time you come back, your face is dirty. Your face is dirty because the dirt has been adsorbed dirt adsorbed on skin surface correct dirt has not got gone inside your blood but it's only on the skin surface and that is a good example of adsorption so here i have a cold drink spilled i'll see how it behaves when i use paper or the plastic on one side or tissue paper on the other side right so if you see here is all cold drink spilled. This is the tissue on the left hand side, tissue paper, plastic sheet on the right hand side. If you see on the left hand side, the whole thing is adsorbed, right? So if you see the whole cold drink is absorbed in this tissue paper. But on the right hand side, uh, the cold drink is adsorbed only on the surface. Right? We have seen this example. So this is one good example of the surface chemistry. So here the cold drink is adsorbed on the plastic surface. Here the cold drink is totally absorbed by the tissue paper. Another good example of adsorption is water on the leaves. So if you see here, sometimes or uh, sometimes in the winter or in the foggy season, the water gets adsorbed on the leaves. So if you see, water gets adsorbed. Right? If you just uh, shake this leaf, the water will fall off. Or if you just wipe this leaf with a cloth, it will become dry. That is why because it is adsorbed, it is not absorbed, right? Hope you understand the difference between absorption and adsorption. The next good example of adsorption is chalk dip in the ink. So if you have this chalk, let's suppose this is a chalk here, you dip this in an ink, maybe for 5 minutes, not more. You take this out and then you cut this. And then try to see this, see this cross section, this cross section. Try to see this cross section. Now, if you see this cross section, you see that this is something like this. So, if you see what happens is this is my ink, and this will be my solvent because my ink is in water. So, if you see the whole chalk is wet, but the ink is only in this layer because ink is adsorbed by this. Chalk. But when you talk about the water, water is absorbed by the chalk. So if you see, this is a good example where both are happening. The ink is getting adsorbed because the ink is only on the surface of the chalk. The water is getting absorbed because the water is in the whole chalk. It's a very good example of a scenario where both adsorption and absorption take place and you can actually visualize it. You can do it in your home. Pretty easy experience. So before now to understand this term adsorption and absorption in a little detailed manner, it's good to introduce two terms that is bulk and surface. So what is bulk and what is surface? See for any object you take for example tomato, gold coin, or gold uh, biscuit or this sponge or water, anything you take this part which is exposed to another state for example this is a solid is exposed to my air this part is all my surface but inside this whatever you have is bulk for example this tomato the red part is all my surface but if you just break this tomato whatever get you get inside this right inside this if you see you'll get the you'll get seeds also inside this so those things forms bulk here also if you see if you talk about sponge this part is exposed to air right all this uh, this is nothing but my cuboid so all the six surface, one, two, three, four, five, six, six surface is my surface. You call the surface. And whatever is inside is my bulk. Similarly, in this water, also if you see this part is my surface. Right? Because anyway, this part is covered with the glass, so no reaction will happen from here. Only this part is my exposed surface. And whatever inside this is my bulk. So very critical term, bulk and surface. And we'll be using these terms to explain the definition of adsorption and absorption, right? So let's define this term called 
adsorption adsorption t as i have told the surface of solids or liquids they have this tendency to attract and retain molecules with which it comes to contact for example this surface this is my surface this has a tendency to attract attract and retain molecules with which it comes in contact and these molecules remains only on the surface and it does not go deeper in into the bulk so if you see for example dirt or dust will retain only on the surface it will not go inside the gold right if you wash this the dirt will go off right so this anything dust or for example nitrogen gas hydrogen gas will be only on the surface it will not go inside the bulk right so thus this is something which we know this is natural phenomena so this natural phenomena that is this natural phenomena that is nothing but accumulation of molecular species at the surface rather than at the bulk of the solid is called adsorption for example in this case this is my activated charcoal this is not a molecule of ad, uh, activated charcoal this is the whole one piece of activated charcoal and you can draw this in the square form which is your circle form right this is one piece of activated charcoal now this activated charcoal has a surface please note this is not activated charcoal molecule this is whole activated charcoal i'm talking about right this activated charcoal now one piece of activated charcoal actually so this activated charcoal has a tendency to adsorb gases so if you see these are the gas molecules and these gas molecules are being adsorbed on the surface of activated charcoal this we see this is a surface of activated charcoal correct this is not this is activated charcoal piece let me write it this is not activated charcoal molecule right so one activated charcoal and we'll see this activated charcoal a lot in our next few slides now so we have two different terms the molecular species for example dust gases or something that accumulates on the surface they are called adsorbate for example here the gases is my adsorbate because these are something that gets accumulated on the surface right and this material on the surface of which adsorption take place is called adsorbent so here my activated charcoal is adsorbent so hope you understand the difference adsorbent is the molecules the gases which get adsorbed and adsorbent is the surface on which adsorption takes place for example this is gold here also if the dirt particles get adsorbed so this dirt particle will be my adsorbate and this is gold so gold is the surface on which everything is happening so gold is my adsorbent please note once again adsorption is a surface phenomena let me repeat once again this is a surface phenomena this happens only on the only on the surface so to make this adsorption more effective what we do is we increase have to increase the surface area because adsorption is a surface phenomena and we can do this by breaking it into small particles in fact we will see one numerical also in this so if you see if you have one uh, cuboid let's suppose right so it has some surface area now if you break this cuboid into let's suppose 100 piece 100 piece if you break the small small cuboids something like this what will happen you will see that eventually you will end up increasing the surface area we will see one numerical where we will have this maths and we will with maths we will see uh, the surface area has increased in fact you can do this on your own also so to in, since this adsorption is a surface phenomena right we can say that adsorption is totally dependent on surface area correct so to increase the adsorption we have to increase the surface area to increase the surface area what we can do we can actually break into small pieces for example this charcoal right because charcoal is a good adsorbent charcoal is a good adsorbent so we generally break charcoal into small pieces or the silica gel which is used uh, for sucking the moisture from the carton box or alumina gel the clay all the scolites they are finely divided examples of adsorbent and why if you see now let's suppose this is my big piece of charcoal 
right? This man, it's a big piece of charcoal. Correct. Now this big piece of charcoal, and then I break this into small, small piece like this. This male small, the same charcoal is being broken into small, small pieces. Maybe it will have more. Correct. Small, small piece like this. Now you see this big piece of charcoal can absorb these many molecules, right? Because the molecules are getting adsorbed on the surface, right? As I have told, this is my activated charcoal piece, right? Now if you break this, if you see, the more and more molecules can get absorbed, right? So if you see the green ones are my gas molecules, the blue one is my charcoal, activated charcoal. And you see, can you just visualize this? I'm just drawing it. The more and more gas molecules will be adsorbed. I hope you got the concept. I need not draw more, but you see here, more and more gas molecules are getting adsorbed. Why because surface is more, right? So when you break this into uh, more pieces, the surface area is more. And since this adsorption is just a surface phenomenon, right? The more you increase the surface area, the more is the adsorption. And that is the reason why we break a particular substance into small piece, because the moment you break into small, and this is all three three dimensional. I'm just drawing it, it looks like a, a circle, but it's actually spherical in shape or something of that sort, all three dimensional, right? It's all three dimensional because active, charcoal is actually a three dimensional piece. We'll show you a picture of charcoal in the next few slides. So that is all about the adsorption. So adsorption is what? Accumulation of molecular species at the surface rather than at the bulk of the solid is called adsorption. Since it's a surface phenomena, to increase the adsorption, we have to increase surface area. And this can be done by breaking a particular substance into small piece. Because the moment you break a particular substance into small piece, the surface area increases. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.